my toes up. Uh, who said that? Frank Bruno? No. <laughs> that was um, your woman. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Anyway. No. Right, what's a crack? Go, you Enter, said, entertain me. You sent me for a tin of um, yes. lemonade and it cost me £20. Big one, isn't that shop? It no, because you couldn't go in and buy the one thing I asked you to get. You went shopping, didn't you? Yeah. Your typical woman. <laughs> I'm in a shop. Yo, one of them and three of them. And I don't even know what they are, but I'm taking one anyway. It's and even... it's cheap. <laughs> it said money off. Did you know what it was? So they I... were 60 quid and now 59.99. I had to get two. The thing is, I left the, my bag in the motor. And I thought, I'll take the money out for the Red Bull. And then I went, oh, no, I'm going in here. You never know. So I took... You never know, you're only going to get like a sweetie shop. I mean, you never know. <laughs> what do you think you're going to get? Brandy's canoe? Or, you know, a, 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 a Black Thursday sale on trumpets or something? What do you think there's going to be in a sweetie shop? You never know. You never guess. You just never know. Rick, gives my money. Credit card. Right? American Express. What's a credit limit in that? Ten grand, right? Well, I think we're covered. <laughs> Friggin' in for sweets. But you always have to have you never know stuff. Well, you don't. You do. You're you always mad. have to have never know. You never go over the exact, exact money. Bums out the window. <laughs> right. Yes. Talking earlier on about um, uh, gifts that always appear in the house at Christmas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you think was in the top five? Because I forgot to read the top five out. Brute. Brute. No, nobody wears brute now. Do they not sell brutes? But that would come under smellies. Right. Do, do they sell brute anymore? Socks. Does anybody know? Socks. Socks, right. Yes, that one. What's that one? That's the you, one that they you, do. You're, you're flying like a plane. <laughs> no, the one that shows the guy on the waves doing that. What? Is that smellies too? What, what are you doing? You're standing like a bird with a broken wing. What do you like that? <laughs> like when people do the Dan Busters and that song. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? Yes, Don't so mention think, the war. I think that was a good smellies. <laughs> mention it once, think we got away with it. <laughs> I think that's smellies. So that would be under smellies. Um, that would be old space or something mm -hmm. like that. Right? Mm -hmm. Carl and Max Cobb says, Johnny, I can't tell you how delighted I was at getting a pair of your trunks. <laughs> what did people have to do to get them? <laughs> <laughs> No, we won't do that. Um, I know there's competition on Facebook. No, the signature works printed some limited edition yes. Johnny Hero yes. drawers. <laughs> and people won. Felt like saying, made it, ma. Right? <laughs> My face on the, the rear end of somebody's drawers. Um, uh, Karen seem. says, My other half killed himself laughing for about half an hour. <laughs> what do you hear? He'll not be laughing when he opens his Christmas present. <laughs> Here's what I got you. None of them trunks you thought were funny. Well, there you go. Cat says my 22 year old loves brute. Um, yes, they still do brute, says mm -hmm. Don and Lurgan. I love it. I always thought it smelled like feet soaked in petrol. You know, no, I like, like the smell as long as it's. <coughs> Are you still not well? I'm not well. Not still well. not well. I was on this camera two weeks ago, not well. And I was also not well last week. Mm -hmm. And it's still there. Mm -hmm. and, and I, I was talking to the doctor earlier on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh! There you go. What, 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 what is this? Some Heimlich maneuver? Get on. Um, and I, I was, the, the doctor was laughing. She says, <laughs> She's you, laughing. I'm laughing. <laughs> she says, You've had this old uh, chasing us for about three and a half weeks. And I says, Listen, do you want me to tell you something? When I go into work, and if I tell my sister that, she would say, I had it for four weeks. And you did. That's exactly this thing. You, I had my chest infection for four weeks. And I was worse than you. And I got into work. You know, no matter what, you have an ailment. Oh, I had that. Mm -hmm. But I had it twice. You know, somebody will always want to go one up on the old ailments. Mm -hmm. She only says, I'm more than brute. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Brute is still on the go. My brother-in-law used it, said someone. Okay. It's nice. Brute is nice, just oh, not too much. No, you know what I mean? Brute is nice. Hard to beat Aramis. Mm. Aramis was the, you know, whoa, whoa. Sorry, you just don't stand a chance tonight. <laughs> right. Aramis is on. <laughs> <laughs> you know? What are we lads? And then go out, to, go out to any nightclub in the 80s and everybody's raking of Aramis, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. And Blue Stratos. And all that kind of gear was class. Was class. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So socks. Socks was the number one. But fellas like getting socks. <laughs> you just mispronouncing really? that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> socks! Socks! What's this about? That was 
do what you want. But women get socks too. We like flurry, flurry socks. Flurry? Fluffy That's socks. things you get at McDonald's with ice cream in it. Mm. Socks flurry. Are, socks are good. Right. Um, so socks and smellies were one and two in the things that people always get for Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, biscuits, tin of biscuits, number five. Yep. But you can picture in the house, okay? Now, your average house will have boxes of you know heroes and celebrations mm -hmm. and um, Quality Street and things like that. And tin of roses if you're, if you're, old, if you're old school. Um, what do you mean tin of roses if you're old school? It's old school. What's well, new school celebrations and heroes, Ro miniature heroes. Roses are the best sweets. No, I'm not. They are the best. What's the one with the big purple one in it? Quality Street. Quality Street. You know you can buy bags of big purple ones? You, do you know you can buy one big gigantic purple no, one? No, it's not. That's a box with purple ones Is in it. Is it? <laughs> do you think it's a big one? No, that, that's a one yes. big purple one? No. I it was one big purple one. There's wee ones in it. I'm getting jaded. How do you know? Because I know. I checked actually. I thought it was a big mob Did one. Uh, Yo, no, look at this here. Happy Christmas to me. Yo, no, big part run down the street. I have no treasures on. Who cares? Yo. But I, when I thought about it, I was going, how much caramel is inside that? It would not be worth it. like Homer Simpson. Right. Oh. <coughs> I know well, you know. Anyway, so you get all these confectionaries and sweeties and all in the house, and you made me forget what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Make it up. That's Which, what you usually do. Just go on. Make it up. Fill it in. Right. Mm -hmm. you no, know, so people, somebody will turn up at your your door. You know, there's a tin of biscuits for you. You know that uh, Victoria assortment, whatever it is. Well, they're nice. No, but I'm sure you're looking going. Bloody biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> there's not enough sweeties around this house. And there's my dad. I'm a shoot again. You know. You don't have enough points. You know, we've got selection boxes and heroes and roses and everything else. And then your mom brings a tin of biscuits. I'm gonna wrap them around his neck. No. Tin of biscuits. So then what happens is, now I'm not saying I've done this, but I have seen this done. <coughs> See that tin of biscuits? Anybody open it? <laughs> no. Are you sure nobody opened it? Open it. Well, we can't even open it to look. No, it hasn't been open. It hasn't been open, right? Just wrap that up and send that down to them. <laughs> Tell them happy Christmas. <laughs> and it ends up, we city down the road gets her biscuits back that she left you in the day before. <laughs> This is, yeah. What's going on here? And then she opens it, she realized she'd actually broken them took them. One of the wee bourbons is missing. They were my biscuits. So everybody have you, have you done that? No, not me. Everybody has done that. No. Everybody no. no, this is the thing. No. If you run out of presents and there's somebody you've forgotten and then you go, Mate, right, what what we got? <laughs> Listen, this will be awful if it's only our family thinks like that. Really well. Everybody will be going, I'm rotten pigs. <laughs> no, what'd you do? Just, oh, no, don't, don't. I'm not going back into that town. <laughs> I'm not fighting my way in that town again. They're all animals. <laughs> ah. Last time I went in, I got an umbrella in the eyeball and a prom in the groin and I'm run over by a taxi. I am not going that, near that town. That's what you hear. That town's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at the town <laughs> sitting there going, all right, come on, come on in, come on, come on into the town, come on, ain't you hard enough? But then you think, and then somebody will say, but we, we Stephen's coming to Stephen, and you're going, no, bang in your head, right, what age is you say? And then the old favourite, the granny will say, does he like links? <laughs> does he like links? I have links. I bought Two pallets of it, because <laughs> everybody loves links. Any male relative, links, birthdays, bar mitzvahs, confirmations, weddings, links, taste of Africa. <laughs> Get them links. Then you run around going, and we somebody got me a bottle of wine, and oh, that's stinking that wine. Well, we'll give him that. Well, he, he's nine. <laughs> I'm telling you what, give out his da, and then the slippers you got for his da. Give out to Uncle Jordy and swap his, swap his, and he ends up, the, the, the kid ends up getting a bowler hat or something. <laughs> What's this for? A bully line. It's, it's, it's a Mr. Ben costume. Stick it on. I don't even know who Mr. Ben is. <laughs> Shut up. Happy Christmas. Oh, Johnny, you're not alone, right? But it is, there's that panic when you realize, you know, and you're not getting near it on beeping town again. You just have to make do with what there is in the house, you know? Mm -hmm. Ornaments. Or a clap above a fireplace. Yeah. Does that clap work? Or do you know what else? Because 
people will sometimes during the year buy something and they'll go I'll put this away and then maybe they've forgotten it's there and they'll go upstairs and go what have I hidden in the cupboard and they try and see it hoping they've got something hidden in the cupboard no nothing no Japanese soldiers fighting the war we make our cupboards <laughs> Japanese soldiers what year is it <laughs> is MacArthur still still flying up there <laughs> pajamas, everybody gets pajamas. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And the thing is, uh, you can never have enough pajamas. I mean, for instance, we get Lisa pajamas every Christmas, mm -hmm. but she likes Christmas Eve, getting the ring sorted early, and then you sit down in your jammies to sit and watch whatever's on. Mm -hmm. Okay? Wonderful mm -hmm. life for mm -hmm. white Christmas. And that's Lisa's tradition, new mm -hmm. jammies and sitting there like that. Mm -hmm. But she's warned us, do not get me a house coat. Because we always get her a house coat to get mm -hmm. something to get her. You know, yeah, like, just, uh, to, just to fill it out. Just to fill it out a bit. A big fluffy house coat, you know. <laughs> so that you'd, you'd think it was a, a dressing room for Teletubbies in our house. There's all, these, all these furry house coats hanging up. <laughs> uh, uh, what colour would you like? Uh, what shade of beige would you like? You know, uh, what kind of pile do you want on it? You know, that there. So, uh, but she's going to get a house coat. You know, <laughs> the dog runs around in them and everything else. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> I'm not well again. No. Tony, you're not well. Another clean shirt. Stop doing that. There you go. I'm just helping. You're only slapping my back to get touching me. No. I wanted to right. touch you. Do so, that. jammies and selection box. I'll give you the top five was socks, then it was smellies, selection box, pajamas, and biscuits. Yes. So, there's there's everybody sitting going, mm, that's all I have in. I know. But so, now, that, that doesn't mean you're not allowed to give them. People expect them. Okay. It's just the but thoughts. But if you do have a, it's just something to hand over. But if you do have a granny who has three hundred with a links, mm -hmm. get Lion. some of it off her. You know. Mm -hmm. Again, I've said it before. If anybody plays sport, links, because mm -hmm. you know stuff to mm -hmm. get washed with after the football and all that. Mm -hmm. Kids love after all that. your dinner. After do you have to get washed after your dinner? <laughs> Didn't you see the size of some of our dinners? You need to climb over them. Hey. You need to get it washed. Hey. <laughs> you speak for yourself. Well, do you need have a little piece plate or? A a piece plate? Uh -huh. I get the big roasting dish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> give, us, give us a hand over with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing my dinner then at Christmas, like men moving furniture. <laughs> right? Oh, over a bit. Oh, there's gravy spilling. No, no, keep your end up. Well, the roasties are going, whoa. I know the, the, the dish you do the roasties in. Mm. Just throw mashed mm. potatoes and turkey mm. and all on it. Mm. That'll do. Uh, Johnny Handsome says, Johnny, you know, uh, do you know how we get Lynx Africa at Christmas? Do you think people in Africa get Lynx Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> Give me over that Lynx put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Lynx New Nards, you know. <laughs> Lynx Belfast, you know, the, big, the, the, the TV film voice. The film voice he went on, mm. Albert Hayes and Lynx Korean in, in Africa. Oh, why not? Why not? Lynx Palomina. Hey. Yes. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Link Spalamina. Hi. I'm very good. Well, well you're right there, not stay that night. Yeah. Kelly says, what about soap on a rope? That used mm. to be the thing as well. But people don't get baths. Who don't get baths? Do people still get baths? Yes. Alright. Oh, I got a bath last February and I didn't even need one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course people get baths. Because you've no you've no bath in the house. No. You you just have a like a big swanky shower thing. No, but a shower. Yeah. Yes. No, it's a wet room. I know what the hell that is. Right, Don, Johnny. We were moving house years ago, shortly after Christmas. My mum gave our elderly neighbours the usual tin of biscuits. When we uh, went to pack up, <laughs> <laughs> when we went to pack up, moving house, I found the tin of biscuits unopened. What my mummy had given the neighbours was a biscuit tin full of our own photographs. <laughs> Imagine your neighbour calls it Happy Christmas, and if I don't see you, have a great time. I'll call in and see you now for a new year. Oh, there you That's for you. That's for you. <laughs> Never sit when we come a tea and boxing night. Open that tin there. <laughs> All these wee Polaroids of family holidays in Newcastle and Port Rush. No, that's lovely. <laughs> you can, the black and white ones taste better. <laughs> <laughs> That's close. Sorry, this film, go. Quick. Uh, excuse me.
me. Um, it's <coughs> Mel Gibson and <laughs> it's Mel Gibson and Will Ferrell and uh, the other one that I like. Marky Wahlberg. Ah, yes, yeah. Mark Wahlberg, and it's called Daddy's Home Christmas Two. I think Daddy's Home Two. That'll do. Yes. No, that'll do. Is not a I made that. But you didn't need to see because it, it was the first one of this. The first one was a gag. Yes, and this one's good too. Oh, really good, good too. No, really, really good, good. Too. So you didn't have to see the first one. To no, enjoy no, this but one. It, it's really good. it got hammered by the critics. No, it was but, really but good. So did the first one. Yeah, I, I love the. First I love the first one too. So it was really, really good. I totally enjoyed this. It's really, again, really the first one was about two two daddies um, trying to outdo each other. So in this one, they bring their own dads along who just carry it on a notch. Uh, they, yeah. No, not really. No, that's not. No, it. no. is that not it? No. Right. It's just the families getting together for Christmas. And mm -hmm. And uh, it's just really good. I can't really remember what. Did you laugh was. much? I mean, you were laughing anything. Let's face it. <laughs> That's why I bring you in here. <laughs> no, I, I just really, really loved it. Right. So I give it an eight and a half. Right. Okay. But I also seen another Christmas one as well, right. and I didn't fall asleep at this one either. Two in the one week. What a recommendation. The man who um, invented Christmas. It's about Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. And how he got the ideas for writing. Yes. Christmas card. All right, I'm, I'm hurrying you up here. Hold it's on. It's really good as well. Andy and Balna Hinch says, what about Lynx, Northern Ireland? The aroma of Buckfast. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really good as well, and I give it eight. Right. What are you doing? Oh, they're walking in. Right. We're not over yet. Mm -hmm. um, you're over now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. When are you on head the balls? <laughs> Saturday from 10 o'clock until 2. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>